Taylor, pastor, moderator at Bishop Auckland. And uh, when I first, within a few weeks of starting here, it was suggested that we uh, become one of the first churches to be involved in Reimagine. And on our first weekend, we were challenged as to how we might contact, make contact with our community in the 21st century. And all we could come up with on that uh, Saturday afternoon was that we would uh, start serving our tea and coffee after church on a Sunday morning outside at the front or out or in the porch at the front dependent on the weather and invite anybody passing by for a brew and that's how what has now become reinvent started we then met a lady who was facilitating a project uh, helping men whose lives had been damaged to um, get re 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 repaired, if you like, uh, by running a, um, an allotment. And we suggested that if they came here on a Wednesday to look after our large garden, uh, we would uh, provide them with lunch. That then moved a stage further. I've been involved with Fort with Dementia for the last 10 years or more and I wanted to run a dementia project and um, the Auckland project said they would provide us with facilitators for it uh, but could they start with Wednesday lunch and do it in the, on a Wednesday afternoon. So suddenly our small lunch became quite bigger and has gradually grown over the period, as has the work in the garden. As, um, Daniel picked up a, uh, we picked up a Northumbria in Bloom award a couple of weeks ago. Hello, my name is Marion Hodgson and I'm the secretary here at Bishop Auckland Baptist Church. Um, we now are in post lockdown and our Wednesday mornings have grown. Um, we had a gap where the restrictions stopped us from serving for a while, but it soon became apparent that when we were checking the building, um, people who we had previously fed were looking for food. So we opened up a soup kitchen and to start off with, we were feeding just 20. Well, our 20 now has gone to 50 or 60 each week. But through this situation, we have established a clientele of a varied um, groups of society. We have children and we have vulnerable adults. We also have started to see one of the care homes returning with their clients. Um, it's hard to explain what happens on a Wednesday morning. We receive um, unsold food from the supermarket through a fair share scheme. And we have received donations from the cooker recently, as well as donations from other network agencies through uh, making contact through BBC Radio Tees. It's really hard to explain, as I've said, but God is at work here. We had a Harvest Sunday lunch recently, and we uh, had 15 book lunch from the Wednesday to the Sunday and we fed 10 people. So we felt that that was quite an encouragement and we intend to do more Sunday lunches as well as continuing Wednesdays. 